We are doing uh, top eight at eight this week in honor of the cyclone bomb or bomb cyclone, whatever you want to call it, this horrific storm, uh, winter storm that is almost covering where I have to fly this weekend. So I hope that this thing goes away. Uh, I think it will. I uh, hope that my parents up in Providence, Rhode Island will be okay uh, dealing with this uh, horrible, horrible winter storm. Yeah, a couple, up the East Coast. couple notes before we start here. When Jeff emailed me this morning and said, we should do top <laughs> eight at eight bombs in honor of the bomb cyclone, I did not know what he was talking about until recently, just maybe like 10 minutes ago. I thought it was in reference to something the president tweeted last night, but uh, it, it we're, may have we're, been, not, we're not very political on double coverage, we so we'll stick that. away from that. Nope. The other thing I need to note here is if anyone in the Gannett headquarters is watching me tonight, <laughs> I apologize ahead of time for any weird search results for types of bombs that showed up on my work computer today. I promise it was work-related. Yeah, CC, the FBI, CIA, uh, ATF, DEA, whatever organization would be following us, LMPD, uh, please, I'm the same. I googled famous bombs earlier today uh, and was dismayed to find uh, almost all of them had to do with explosives and yeah, not a whole that. lot to do with with all this. Yeah, so top know. eight at eight bombs. We're trying to keep this fun, PG, family oriented. It's still early enough. Your kids shouldn't be in bed yet. John, start us off with your first one. All right, number eight here. I am going uh, nerdy. Lord Full of the dork Rings. alert here. Uh, Tom Bombadil. I'm usually a huge book snob. Always uh, book better than the movie. My one exception, though, is Lord of the Rings. I think those movies are way better than the books, and one of the reasons is Tom Bombadil, a random character, is not in the movies. He is very <laughs> boring. He adds nothing to the plot, and so Peter Jackson just cut him out. Okay, fair it's enough. Good, good, st good thought. Yeah, there you go. That's one of my favorite Jim Gaffigan skits is when he's like, oh, really, the book was better. Well, I just spent two hours watching this movie, and now I have the rest of my life to live. There you go. Uh, he's so right. Okay, I grew up in New England. I grew up really, really, really disliking the Yankees. But the most, the very first thing that came to mind for me when I came up with my top eight, top four bombs was the famous call during the Yankees games when Alex Rodriguez would hit a home run, that same refrain, it's an A-bomb from A-Rod. Hate, oh my God. Maybe the worst me. broadcasting crew in the history of baseball. It, it's yes, got to be top three. Yeah, they're real bad. They're real bad. But that is, uh, I put it on there because that's the first thing that came to mind. And I felt like, you know what? If I'm Googling famous bombs, I should probably put in the one that is not anything controversial and immediately comes to mind. All right, my next one, uh, number six on our list here. I was trying to go a little literal for one of my picks. <laughs> I do not have very much experience with actual bombs. But as a kid, my birthday party every year was at the state park in Floyd County, Eastern Kentucky, and we had a water gun fight. All my kids, all my friends brought their water guns. I brought my water guns. It was a huge thing. And to have a water gun fight, you got to have some water balloon gotta bombs. Got to have a little artillery. Makes it always better. Uh, it's the friendly kind of bomb, the one everybody can get behind. Nobody <laughs> gets seriously hurt. Water well, I wouldn't bombs. go that far. Someone could get hurt. And, and maybe if you're uh, uh, in the 20 age group, you might have something in some of these water balloons that is not gotta be careful. necessarily water. Got to be careful. But for me, as a child, pretty safe. John, I heard that you had typed up and then deleted a tweet claiming that your water balloon bomb button was bigger than my water balloon bomb button. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe to say. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's go on to my no my number two, or my number three, my second one here. Great choice by me. I'm really yeah. proud of this choice. I like this one too. Um, if you are anyone under the age of like 45 years old, you have played Mario Kart. And probably, honestly, you don't, it's really for all ages, it's a great game. Uh, I love the, wa I think they're actually kind of cute. The walking bombs, the only problem is, is they've got the little spinner thing on it. And if you see it too early, and you don't do enough to get around it, that is really gonna mess up your uh, your little ride there uh, in Mario Kart. Great game, probably the best video game of all time. Yeah, um, last week in Nashville it was really cold, and so I did not really do much exciting things, but I brought my Nintendo Switch with me, and myself and a couple other uh, riders on the UK beat maybe played some Mario Kart for a couple hours in the hotel instead of going out to any adult establishments. So you, so you listed a Lord of the Rings guy, and then you just 
Yeah, I've played video games. Played video games, games at a bowl game. Yeah, okay. I'm a huge nerd, Jeff. I yeah, don't know if you know. I honestly would have probably played the video game so hard uh, in Nashville. Okay, number right. four. What do you got? Number four. Uh, movie. I was trying to come with some best bomb movies. This movie is amazing. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. Doctor I Strange. Think I have. It's a classic. I know it's a classic. Of cinema. Uh, very. Uh, <coughs> edgy, maybe a little bit, a little, uh, a little farce, a little satire, political satire. Uh, great scene at the end with a with a bomb, but uh, Doctor Strange Love. If, if you're going for bomb movies, if you're going for <laughs> classic cinema, which I don't normally get into. Don't search that on uh, Netflix. Don't search bomb <laughs> movies. Same Doctor, same reason you don't want to Google it. Yeah, Doctor Strange Love. That's that's the okay. movie you're going to go for. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite moments in Congress. It's, I just revealed that I'm a huge dork. Watching C-SPAN once, I think it was when John Roberts was being confirmed as the Chief Justice, and I'm pretty sure it was Joe Biden as a senator. Was They were going back and forth, and he's like, I can't get you to answer anything. You won't even tell me what your favorite movie is. And then he quipped <laughs> back, North by Northwest, uh, which I thought was actually pretty funny. Dr. Strangelove, though, I've heard is a great movie. I need to see it. It's, it's been good. around for a long time. Yeah. Okay, my next one. I wanted to go with something sports. Got the A-Rod in there. Went with something on the football field, and it is something that continuously keeps, well, I guess continuously means the same thing, continuously happens. Aaron Rodgers. I keep. I almost just said Alex Rodriguez again. Aaron Rodgers. How many times have you been watching the Packers, and this dude has uncorked a bomb, like a Hail Mary, yeah, that has been caught? I mean, it's like... All of a sudden, it's become something yeah, that it's is... it's kind of his thing. Yeah, it's I mean, like, like his, his thing His now. legacy. Right. Yeah. yeah, Lions, Cardinals. I'll never forget, I was on 4th Street, which I don't get to 4th Street, 4th Street a whole lot. Uh, I was there for a birthday party. I don't remember what I was doing, but everybody, at, at, all at the same time, flipped out, and I went, found a TV. I knew there were playoff games going, and it was the A-Rod, uh, the new A-Rod bomb. There you go. There you go. It's like that time we were in Iowa, the adult establishment <laughs> in Northern Iowa hit a, uh, a game Northern winner. Iowa hit the game winner. We yeah. did not know what was going on. That was, that was legit. Who did they beat? I don't remember. Somebody good. Somebody good. They were not supposed to win that game, as usual. Uh, okay, what do you got? My last one, number one, favorite television show of all time, Lost. It's great. Really? Watched it at least five or six times all the way through. A huge plot point, though, in the final seasons when it gets a little... Little, little janky, I admit. I uh, got some hate before the show tonight about the finale of Lost not being very good, which I can, <laughs> I can maybe get on board with. But there is an atomic bomb and some time travel and some blowing up an island. And spoiler alert, you just need to watch the show. But there is a bomb that is very, very pivotal to the plot of Lost. And it's called Jughead. That's a picture of it right there. If you haven't seen Lost, get out there. I think between Lost, uh, Lord of the Rings, Dr. Strangelove, it's pretty clear if you uh, dedicated double coverage user viewers did not know yet. I am a huge nerd. And that is, how <laughs> is Lost considered nerdy? I thought that was yeah, like a pretty popular like a, show. I mean, it, it was pretty popular, but it's, it's, it's at its heart a fantasy show. So. I'll admit that I have hovered over the play button on the first, first season, season yeah. first episode of Lost on like a Saturday at like 2 p.m., probably like 20 times. If you watch the pilot, it's the greatest, it's the greatest pilot in television history. You, there's Better no than The way, Office? Yeah, there's no way you could w not watch the rest of the first season if you watch the pilot. Okay. It's two uh, hours long, though. So. Well, if you want to watch all of these things while doing my number one, uh, which is eating a biscuit bomb, um, I would highly recommend it. Maybe do it while you're playing Mario Kart. Uh, but the biscuit bomb comes in number one for me, easy choice. Jeff didn't know what that was. I Jeff, our graphics guy, our our, uh, our key guy here, the producer, director, whatever you want to call him, uh, kills the game behind the scenes here. Didn't know what a biscuit bomb is. You can see it on the screen here. It is a, literally a biscuit with cheese in it. That sounds pretty good. Like that? Unanimous number one. Biscuit with cheese in it. I introduced myself uh, earlier this year to some Brazilian cheese bread before. Have you ever had that? It looks a little bit like a, a biscuit bomb. That pretty good. sounds amazing. It's good. All right. We got nothing else.